Earl Drika White, 28 year old woman from Houston. Now this happened some months ago. This happened, uh, when this happened? March 31st, but I believe the tape was just released recently. So this is a woman that was pulled over by a police officer and she was told that she uh, had crossed the double line. That's why he was pulling her over. Uh, and the video, you know, she, so she got out of the vehicle and she called 911 because she was like, look, I need to get another officer on the scene because this officer is being, uh, very abusive in his language. He, he's, he, he just seems very threatening to me. So she wanted another officer on the scene. So as she's on the phone with 911, trying to get somebody else, she says that he's harassing her. She says that word. He says she says that he is harassing her, the officer that pulled her over. At that point, that's when the assault happens. He puts his hands on her, he takes out his cuffs, and he puts his hands on her, and he's trying to place her under arrest. Now she's resisting. Because, well, one, she doesn't understand why in the hell she's being arrested. Why why in the hell would she be arrested? She cross if she did cross a double line, is that is that a crime that warrants an arrest or is that a is that a an offense that warrants a ticket and an appearance at at traffic court an arrest uh white spent hmm two days in jail on a misdemeanor charge of resisting arrest and was released on a thousand dollars bail did you hear that she was charged with resisting arrest. Now, now this is really hard. Now, I, 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 I admit that this is this this kind of boggles my brain. But how can one be placed under arrest for resisting arrest when one wasn't under arrest? Like that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. If I'm not under arrest, then how can I be res resisting arrest? And then you charge me with resisting arrest? You don't charge me with anything else. I wasn't under arrest. This is crazy. What kind of world do we live in? You can't be you can't be charged with resisting arrest when you weren't under arrest. <laughs> you have to first do something that warrants an arrest and crossing the double line and calling 911 because you're being abusive in your language towards me, that doesn't warrant an arrest. But of course, um, on May 13th, the police issued findings from its investigation and cleared Luca. Uh, this guy's name is Gentian Luca. Uh, he's a three year member of the force of the Metro Police Department in Houston. So they cleared Luca of all alleged violations. Oh, I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. You mean a, you mean an investigation conducted by the police? <laughs> an investigation conducted by the police actually they protected their own officer oh my gosh this is why we need independent investigations we're never gonna get justice if the police take care of their own that's like oh you know what that brings up a situation you remember when hillary clinton and her lawyers with were tasked with going through her own private server to decide what was private and what was not and just delete that crap and say, here, here you go, FBI. This is all the stuff you need. What kind of crap is that? Independent investigations is what we need. We don't need police taking care of their own anymore. Um, the Metro Police Chief Vera Bumpers. <sighs> this is what uh, the police chief said. I think he showed restraint and patience during the incident. I think he just really tried and allowed her to calm down. He waited while she was on the 911 call three minutes, I think. And that's a long time. So, OK, let, let's 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 talk about that statement. OK. He's saying that or, 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 or this police chief is saying that Luca exercised patience and restraint. Because he allowed Earl Drika White to be on the phone for three minutes. 
But when that three minutes was up and when she said the word harassed, well, it was time to place her under arrest. But for what? Why was it time to place her under arrest? Because I don't I don't see anywhere where this police chief um, addressed that. Nope, I don't I don't see where they addressed that at all. Why was she placed under arrest? Who who was asking this question? Why was she placed under arrest for crossing a double line? Is that why she was placed under arrest? Because I didn't see that, and and I, she, she wasn't booked on that. Why wasn't she booked on it then? Because if if, if that was an as, if that was an arrestable offense, it would be on a record now, right? It would be one of the charges. Now, maybe later they want to be like, okay, we'll drop it. But it wasn't even one of the charges. The only charge is resisting arrest. But she had to do something first to resist arrest, right? Like there had to be an arrest. You know what? I'm just going circles. This is stupid. This is real dumb. Um, Now, she is um, she is suing, which I love. Uh, She filed a formal complaint with the Metro uh, Police. Uh, alleging several counts of misconduct against Luca. Uh, so, man, I, one, I hope this charge is dropped because it hasn't been dropped yet. Even with the video, it hasn't been dropped. This is stupid. This is completely ridiculous. But I, I, I hope she gets actual justice. And I hope this guy loses his job. I hope the police chief loses his job backing up this Luca that had no business arresting her at all. This is ridiculous. We'll